Welcome to Bread from the Potter. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on March the 24th, 2018. The title of the message is, I am the one who forgives, heals, and restores. And the Lord Jesus began, My eyes are searching to and fro. I am searching for those who are willing to repent. My mercies are great and I will pour out much favor and grace on those who humble themselves before me and repent of their sins. I am not searching for those to punish. I know them. Their hearts are hardened and they find pleasure in continual sin. Their day of judgment is coming, swiftly. Right now I am looking for those who are tired of their lives of sin. They have come to the end of themselves. And now, they are ready to place their burdens at my feet and allow my Holy Spirit to lead them. They have become weary of the ways of the world, and their hearts now long for righteousness and peace. It is you that I am searching for. I have waited a long time for you to come to me, and I am glad to see you. Like the father of the prodigal son, I have been watching the road daily, hoping against all hope that you will find your way home. I am glad to see you. My favor is upon you, and my grace is more than sufficient to sustain you. You do not have to perform any rituals. Just come to me as you are, with a repentant heart. Come with all your filth. Come dejected and broken, walking in the slime of sin. Come running, walking, staggering, or crawling on your belly. It does not matter how you come. I do not care if you have on filthy rugs. I just want you to come to me now. You have strayed away from me for so long. There were times I could barely see you because you were so entrenched in darkness. Yes, I know what you did in the shadow of darkness. I am aware of every filthy act, for nothing is hidden from me. However deep the darkness is, light, even a little light, can penetrate it. I saw it all. Nothing was hidden. Come to me with all your shame. Come. I am able to forgive and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. My blood is more than sufficient to wash away all your sins. Come. I have prepared a place for you at my table. I am holding a banquet in your honor. Why do you bow down in deep shame and flinch from my touch? Is there anything that is too hard for me? Come. Let me place my hands on you. You are not too filthy that I cannot touch you. You are my creation. I molded you with my bare hands, and with my bare hands I will lift you up onto your feet and embrace you. I am still the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Did I run away from the lepers while I ministered personally upon the earth? No. Were they not unclean? Yes, they were. And by law, I was not permitted to touch them, but I am the Lord who heals all of your diseases. Therefore, I placed my hands on them and healed them. I placed my hands on the dead, the sexually immoral, the blind, the lame, the demon-possessed. I did not cring from them. Do you know how long the lepers had gone without feeling the touch of another human being? When I touched them, I did not just heal their skin but also their hearts, the touch of love and companionship, not sexual love, but agape love. That touch of love healed their lonely hearts. Once again they could go back to their homes and embrace their spouses, their children, their loved ones. It was more than just a physical healing. It was emotional as well. So what condition are you in? It doesn't matter, even if you have a demon in you. If you are willing and ready for change, I am willing and ready to heal you. I love you. I created you. I breathed into you life. Let me touch you and make you whole again. Jesus. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.